Welcome. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for this very informative conversation. Um, we've talked about chemicals in the past that we put in our bodies through our products that we use, such as soaps, shampoos, our toothpaste, lotions, and even our food that we eat. So, <clears throat> But we also discuss weave and weave glue, lash, weave lash glues. We've discussed perms, nail polish, and more. So today we're going to get into more detail about the toxins found in nail polish and why it's best to be five free when it comes to your nails. And our special guest will tell you all about it. For those of you on the call who do not know me, I am Nicole Brantley, and I am the owner of Whipped Essentials and Fresh. I'm a native New Yorker from Harlem, New York, but I currently reside in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been here for 10 years. I'm a wife, a mother, entrepreneur, a former therapist, a lover of all things natural, and I'm a soon-to-be certified Wumsana practitioner specializing in vaginal steam. So for those of you in the Charlotte area, I look forward to working with you soon. My passion is to inspire others and to help people realize their true purpose and potential in all areas of their life. I live by the word, decide, commit, succeed, and I'm very passionate about health and nutrition, natural and organic products, wealth and money management. Um, I believe that in order to be happy and and successful in this life, we need to be both healthy and wealthy, and and that can mean different things for different people. Um, I'm especially passionate about educating women about their vaginal health and wellness. I believe that it is a topic that is often taboo, but it should be discussed. So as a result, I found it FRESH, which stands for Feminine Restoration, Education, and Solutions for Women's Health. And my mission is to educate young ladies and women on how to properly care for the most intimate parts of their bodies and skin naturally. So I decided to create that safe space for women to ask questions, discuss anything that is related to vaginal health or women's health in general. So if you're not a part of the group, you make sure that you join Fresh, the Fresh Ladies group over on Facebook. I'll give you more detailed information towards the end of the call. So let's get started. Um, today we have a guest, and I'm super excited. So today we have Stacy Henderson. She's an independent consultant for Jamberry. She is amazing at what she does. It was like the perfect fit for her. Um, she's a fellow entrepreneur doing her thing in business. I'm a member of her um, the group that she has on Facebook for all the ladies that are jamming over there. I'll allow her to tell us a little bit more about that, you know, who she is, what she does. But first, I want to say she's a friend of mine. Um, she's one of my fit mom friends. She created a group back when I was pregnant with my son, and when I say it was right on time, it was right on time. She was a new mommy, and she came up with a clever idea to have mothers who had experience being a mom already to assist, encourage, educate, and, I mean, just be a support to those of us who were first-time or new mommies. So... From that has come Mommy and Me meetups. We discuss different topics in the group. We talk um, about any and everything. I mean, we take the kids places together. She just holds a space for us in that private Facebook group to chat to just, just, just chat about any and everything. Um, we've recently started walking every Saturday mornings with our babies. We share ideas, baby food recipes, tips, meal ideas. I mean, I can go on and on and on. It's just a phenomenal group of women encouraging each other to be the best wives and the best mommies that we can be. So, Stacy, I'm honored that you are here with us tonight to share your expertise on the topic of toxins found in nail polish and why we should be five free. And I'm even more excited that there are natural alternatives to having fabulous nails. Um, I love educating people about health-related concerns, but I also like giving solutions. So, this is an important call, ladies, because our hands are a direct portal to our wombs. So what we put on mm -hmm. them matters. Um, remember, our womb is our sacred seat of creation. It's from, it's from which everything flows. So not just babies come out of there, like I've said before, all kinds of ideas, anything that we birth into this earth to create and to set other people free with our purpose comes from that sacred space. So we, we must honor that. So, Stacey, please introduce yourself, tell us what you do, and go ahead and jump right into tonight's topic after you introduce yourself. Well, 
Thank you so much, Nicole. I'm a little speechless, and if I could blush and people could see it, you would see my face bright red. I just thank you for all the accolades, and you are a good friend of mine as well. Um, The Mary and Elizabeth ministry has been a blessing to me, and I love to bless others. Um, This is just also a great opportunity that you presented to me, didn't know it was coming, and I just thank you for letting me have a platform to talk more about natural ways to have a nice pretty wardrobe on your fingernails and still be healthy. Um, as Nicole mentioned, I am an independent consultant with Jam Bear Nails. It literally just fell in my lap last year. I was a stay-at-home mom, and as Nicole mentioned, I was a new mom, did not have a support system, so I built my support system. And as you become a mother, you do become more aware of everything, um, natural ways to be. You have this young creature, fragile, helpless creature, if you will, and we were put on this earth to to guide and protect this creature and make sure they walked out walk out in their purpose. And so I just became much, much more aware of what I was feeding her, what I was putting in me, what I was putting on her, what I was putting on me. And I know Nicole has always been a guru and expert in natural things. If I have questions, I always, you know, know to turn to her to ask her about skincare or just anything, what's to eat or what to use, toothpaste, all that great stuff. And um, jam berry nails for me, I just did not like the fumes and nail polish. I love painting my nails. I love doing my nails. Always have, you know, as a young child and growing up to now and as an adult, played with colors and who does not like to make a statement? Most people do like to make a statement with their nails, whether they're strictly bare, that's a statement, or if they've got just a simple color, a pop of design on one nail, or they're all laced out um, to the T. We all make a statement with our nails, whether they're rugged, whether they're finely filed, that is a statement in a form and extension of us. And I love what you said, Nicole, that our hands is our connection to our womb. I'm like, wow, that took it to a whole nother level for me. For, for me, um, one of my favorite hobbies is also knitting. I have not done it in quite some time, and that's another thing that Nicole and I have in common. We're crafters. She's a crocheter. I'm a knitter. And um, I don't like to claim it, but there is eczema on my skin. And for me, I'm always very conscious of my hands. And so the irony of it all is I make beautiful things with my hand despite what I think they look like. Um, It's just, again, I think God just set that thing up where I knit and make beautiful creations from these hands that I think don't look the greatest. And then I wear these beautiful, cute nails that I get the most compliment of, and it just totally takes the focus of what the superficial part of my hands may be. So, Again, Nicole and I have talked about in the past, you know, natural ways to treat eczema and skin disorders. And so, again, I love being educated and informed as well. So as I am going over some of the ways to be five free to take care of yourself, it is also part of, you know, taking care of your skin, nail care, body care, um, in this nail polish realm. And natural alternative ways to, to do things, to stay to stay natural when you have, a, a color on your nails or a design on your nails. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's muted or not or if they're self-muted on their own, self-managed, but I do want to kind of get a yay, yay, yay or nay. It may be easier to do nays of those who've never heard of being five free through nail polish. Is there anyone that has never heard of five free? They are all on mute. Hold on, let me unmute them for you. Okay, you're doing it. Okay, I did not know. <laughs> yep, I'm going to unmute them for you. And it's just the nays. Who has not heard of being five free through nail polish or lacquer? Romina, you're unmuted. Can you let her know if you've heard of, if you are you five free? Or ever heard of five free, basically. Okay, so Brooke, it sounds you're also like... Unmuted. If no one said anything, that means everyone has had a concept or has touched or heard of five free, which is great. Um, that gives me a basis just to kind of understand how much in depth to go in through all the five frees. I will review them 
um, basically the toxins that can be in nail polish can run the gamut. They're all very unpronounceable because they're foreign items to us. They're not natural items that we could um, obviously get from Mother Earth. And one of the top five, so there again, there's five, as we mentioned. And some people have nail lacquer and nail posture seven free. I mean, it could go on and on. But the top five, um, the first one being toluene, uh-huh. that is T-O-L-U-E-N-E. And basically, it is a colorless, water-insoluble, flammable liquid. Um, it really can be found um, as a form base in petroleum and coal tar. And it smells, you know, is associated with paint thinner. So that is one item or ingredient that could be in nail polish. Um, it's very known for it to be like an inhalant drug. Um, but some of the effects of it, which is which will make sense, is irritation to your skin and eyes and nose. Um, could cause headaches and dizziness. If you think about when you open up a bottle of nail polish, it's very strong. Um, when I first had my baby and I loved painting my nails, I was very conscious about painting my nails. I did not want that smell in the air. And I was like, gosh, you know, when would be a safe, quote, unquote, time to really paint my nails? You know, when she was asleep, I need to sleep because I'm tired. Or when she finally would go to sleep, and I would paint my nails, they would have to hurry up and dry, or they might mess up, or only get to my hands, not my my feet, or when they finally had all 20 digits painted, something would chip and wouldn't last more than two days. And so it's a very frustrating process. And then on top of it, find out that it's really a strong smell, because a lot of times when you put nail polish on, you know, you could smell it later on that night, the next day. I mean, that's really strong. So one of those you know, ingredients that it's not safe is that inhalant um, toluene. So it can also affect your central nervous system. The second one is called formaldehyde. I think a lot of us are very familiar with it. So there's formaldehyde risen and just plain formaldehyde. So those are two more. So I'm just going to talk about both of them, one and the same, since they've got the similar name. And they are really, one is a form of al- allergen. The formaldehyde resin is an allergen that just affects us. Um, it has to do with suffocating. It's a suffocating odor, and it's colorless as well. Um, it definitely can affect eczema, which I just talked about. Um, it can impact sterilization. You know, we if we're still trying to reproduce and we're talking about our wounds and our vaginas, then this could be an impact and as well as respiratory difficulties. Um, it has a component in it called carcinogen, and that is cancer forming. It's a pro- a product of cancer that can produce cancer. Um, those two additional ingredients, formaldehyde resin and formaldehyde are part of, when people say five free, you definitely don't want that in your product. The fourth one is camphor. And that is a whitish translucent, kind of crystallizes type um, toxin. I have never seen these in person. I've only read about them, heard about them. But I can just imagine being a chemist and seeing these items that is um, really trying to mask the strong smells, which doesn't do a great job of it, but mm-hmm. it has an arom- aromatic um, aromatic smell to it, it's supposed to be. It's still toxic. You know, it affects and irritates our eyes, our skin, um, mucous membranes. It, it can cause, no- you know, you being nauseated, diarrhea, you know, coughing, sore throat, vomiting. I mean, it just it just can grow and grow and grow and be this really huge toxic um, ingredient in anything that we use. So definitely check out for that, that particular toxin. And the last one, the acronym is D as in dog, B as in boy, P. When they say five free, they're mentioning that this is free of this particular toxin. They call it dibutyl phthalate. DBP, 
And this, again, is another irritant for the eyes, the skin, the nose, mouth, and throat. It's really caused some long-term effects. And it's also an insect repellent. I'm sure you all have talked about that at some point. And it's also a very oily, colorless liquid. So these are pretty significant and strong toxins. Um, just the first five. Again, you'll hear about other nail polishes that say they're seven free. I mean, you can go on and on. You can just be free of any nail polish if you want. But I'm assuming that those who are listening on the call and have chimed in are interested in nail polish of some kind of level um, to want to continue to use it in some aspect for beauty purposes and how to be the, the safest way to use and, and do that. And a lot of the ingredients in these you know, nail polishes, you know, you have to take in a significant amount to really truly be affected. I mean, obviously, our nails are dead skin. They're not really living tissue. And so when the nail polish is on top, it just really sits on top of that, that dead skin cell. So, but why is it still important to be toxic-free your nail polish? It really is because, as I was mentioning, you're taking a whiff of that every time you're putting it on your nails or your toes. And the longevity, how long does it take you to, for you to, to paint your nails or toes? So it's more about the fumes of you inhaling it and as well as it touching your skin. So why risk that? I mean, it may not be as detrimental on your fingernails, but, you know, the interaction, the rubbing it against yourself or against your children or in food, you know, if you're cooking and dealing with food, you know, do you just want to remain safe as possible from these toxins? So if there's a way to prevent it and not use it, then that is definitely something that we should look at. Has anyone had any thoughts about the five toxins, have heard of them or experienced them or have any questions about them? If you want to unmute yourself to speak, please press star star to unmute yourself. Okay, well, that's good. I think we all have a good understanding that it's important to be toxic-free and fog-free when you are wearing nail polish or any type of nail decor on your nails. Um, obviously, you do not want to wear anything like that long-term and consistently. Um, some of the natural alternatives, there are many nail lines, nail lacquer lines that are fog-free. Jamberry is not an innovative a line in that manner. If you haven't heard of Jamberry Nails, it is a new company. It's been around less than five years. It was um, created by three sisters, so women thinking and wanting to help and empower other women. You know, they were always their close sisters would go out and eat and want to get their nails done and redeem time as women. I think we all love to do that, fellowship with one another what way to do it with food and fun and definitely, you know, whether it's getting your hair done, getting your nails done, this was one of the ways they did it. And they thought it's really expensive to get our nails to look like this. And what way can we do this without having it to spend so much money on getting our nails done? And so one of the sisters, Christy, um, her husband heard their concern, and he said, you know what, he he um, had his own business, was working with another business with vinyl, um, and that is really what the Jamberry Nail wraps are made out of, and I'll talk about those a little bit later, but in that creation and brainchild, the wraps was really the first product line. After that came the lacquer and the nail care products and the, nail, and the hand care products because they also realize as a company that it's important to have the full service when you're talking about nails. So, yeah, you may put something nice in your hands and, you know, look great for the week or weekend or for that event, but how are you taking care of yourself? Um, they talk. We have a biotin, multivitamin-infused vitamin um, for your hair, skin, and nails. They look at creams, natural creams to put on your hands, the cuticle oils to keep your nails from not being dry. I mean, they are really running the full gamut 360 view on nail care and, and hand care products. So it's not just about the lacquer, but the lacquer is one of them. And again, it's not a new 
bar innovation things that have five free lacquer or nail polish. Jan Beer calls it lacquer, not nail polish. Um, because we know that there's at least 20 plus different lines out there. Chanel is one of them, you know, Deborah Littman, Zoya. They are very high priced in ones. Um, Jan Berry's lacquer is um, definitely a professional gray lacquer, but less as le- less expensive than the ones I just named. Um, so that they they're really big on making things affordable, um, and that's one of the things I love about Jan Berry. Uh, I was a stay at home mom as I mentioned earlier, and I could not go out to the salon all the time. I need to watch our budget, and but I still like to have my nails done and, and look nice and pretty. And so that, again, made sense for me to just be a part of something that was affordable and still have a designer look in doing that. So the first part of the product line that I'll just mention, I only speak about two, is the lacquer. And there are definitely pros with that. They're five free, as I mentioned. They're not going to damage your natural nails. Um, There's no harmful chemicals because they're five free. They're non-toxic. And that is also the same true with the sucking line product of our, you know, alternatives, natural alternatives with Jamberry. The lacquer with Jamberry is 21 shades, so there's definitely a great variety to choose from. They go on thick, they go on smooth, they um, dry fast. I have had great experiences with that. And they also have their exclusive sets, trio sets. Um, so we have 21 shades and three different sets that can be bought, gift sets in the lacquer, all affordable lines, uh, price point 15 bucks a bottle. That's a, about average. If you have OPI, which is not five free, um, that is, you know, just a little bit <laughs> above above that and a stronger and better grade. Um, they have all kinds of bases, a nail strengthener base, um, a regular clear base, um, original base, you have different tops, a lot, of pe- a lot of people like that matte look, glossy look, and even uh, design dimensions, um, mixed metal. So they're growing their lacquer line to be very competitive with the other lines out there. Definitely take some opportunity to, to look at that um, line out there. As Nicole mentioned, my full name is Stacy Henderson. It's S-T-A-C-E-Y. The website for me is stacyhenderson.jamberrynails.net. Do anyone have any questions about the lacquer, the alternative lacquer to five free that we're mentioning on this evening? And you guys know that you're all muted, so if you want to speak, go ahead and press star star to unmute yourself if you have any questions about the lacquer that Stacy just mentioned. Okay, so the other alternative that is natural that a lot of people may have heard of are nail wraps. Um, what is so different about Jamberry nail wraps that you may see in the stores or other companies offering that that you know Jamberry offers? Again, it is toxic free. It's not going to damage your nails. It's formaldehyde free. It is vinyl based. It has very basic components to it. It does have acrylic adhesive on it. So the difference is it's not nail polish based at all, but it stays on your nails. And it can stay on your nails up to two weeks. And they're designers. They're they're, they're different designs that are on a sheet of wraps. A sheet of wraps, when they say that, is two manicures and two pedicures only for 15 bucks. So that's less than $4 an application to get something that's non-toxic and easy and natural to put on your nails. How you simply apply it is you need a clean base, nail base. You size the wraps according to your nails, and you just apply heat to them. The heat is what forms it to your nails, um, and they stay on up to two weeks. Obviously, again, Jamberry is very cognizant of nail care, the whole nail care and nail care, hand care products. So we always promote, you know, large amount of intake of water, um, oiling your cuticles, um, having great hand care products, creams, to constantly keep yourself healthy in our multivitamin, which is the bio team. 
So the way you get them off, because you're like, okay, well, they're on with adhesive. How do you get them off? This is, you know, you've got to probably have to soak them off with something, another toxin to get this wrap off. And you actually don't. They don't fall off on their own um, unless there's some um, user error to it. If you, you, you create a seal on your nails. And to take them off is you break that seal and you put oil on the actual wrap. So that is why it's so natural. That's one of the things I loved about it is I used to wear gel nail polish and shellac, and I really hated, again, the smell and the UV light on me as well as literally having to soak my nails in acetone to get the gel and shellac off. Same thing with acrylics. Um, that is just an unnatural way to take nails off. And your nail beds weaken. Um, with the wraps, all you have to do, again, is break the seal, quote, unquote, of the wrap, and you rub coconut oil on it. Underneath it, you can do lemon oil, any type of oil. You can use um, olive oil. You can use your hair sheen, you know, which I'm sure you guys don't use. But um, any oil to break down the adhesive, and they slide off once you do that. So I love the fact that it didn't take a whole lot to take them off. I still felt safe with that. And um, that is definitely a win for me in my book. Again, it's very um, cost-effective. It still has a stylish look, and it's all natural. I love the fact, um, as a new mom with a baby, is that I did not have to worry about fumes um, in the air. When I apply the nails or shortly thereafter, I love the convenience of them and that if I was in the middle of trying to do my nails, I could just stop, pick her up, change her diaper, do whatever I need to do, and not worry about making a mess. That uh, was one of the other pros of doing Jamberry and having that product available to me. With the lacquer, I will back up and say, with the lacquer, it is five free, but there's still a smell to it. It's still a lacquer. Um, I was not, so I don't really use the lacquer as often as I would like. I do use it on my toes. Every blue moon, I may put it on my child's toes. At least I know that it's safe. It's five free if I'm going to use nail polish on myself or her. But, the, you know, nail polish is nail polish at the end of the day. I love the wraps because I don't smell anything. I don't have any of those toxin fumes in the air at all. Does anybody have any questions about the wraps as a different alternative to use from these toxins? You guys can press star star to unmute in case somebody just unmuted. Yes, this is Romina. I have a question about the wrap. You said um, it's easy to put on. It's a problem for me because I'm just so clumsy sometimes to put the the wrap on and to take it off. Can you just explain that again for me one more time, how to take the wrap off? Yes, to take them off, you could use like an orange stick. Mm -hmm. um, you basically you break, basically break the seal of the wrap that's on your fingernail. Okay. And you, what you would do is you would use oil. Like say you have olive oil, you would, mm -hmm. slowly, you would slowly just work the olive oil under the wrap. You would not oh. rip the wrap off but you're breaking down the adhesive. So you can even use some heat to kind of loosen up the adhesive and keep rubbing the oil in, and it just it mm -hmm. just slowly rubs off. Okay. We also have... Mm -hmm. we oh, also I'm have, sorry. I was going to ask, when you said to put it on to dry or to get it, you know, on to stay on the nail to add a little heat, a little like a low setting on a hair dryer, would that work? Absolutely. Um, we also, when I first started, I didn't have a hair dryer, <laughs> and um, that was one of my main questions. I don't have a heat source, but you need heat to make sure that the wraps stay on. Um, okay. One of the common ways was a hair dryer, but you can also put rice in a sock, mm -hmm. and you can just simply put that rice, sock of rice on a candle warmer or in a microwave or on mm -hmm. an iron and warm it up, and then rub it against your fingernail. That's actually how I put my daughter's toe wraps on is with a rice bag. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anybody else Any have other questions about the wraps? Mm -hmm. 
And so Jamberry has over 250 different nail wrap designs. And what I love yes, about the wrap is that they're so funky and different. The Again, the pro of all that is there aren't any dyes in those wraps. So there are all these wonderful, fun, funky colors, but because the vinyl is one of the ways that are protecting against the toxins or anything like that, you're not seeing dyes um, in these wraps at all. Yeah, I was going to say, Stacey, that um, there I have a, one of your catalogs that you gave me, and I was just like, goodness, I could get lost in this. I mean, all <laughs> kinds of prints for pages and pages and pages. So, I mean, I'm sure there's something for everybody. Like, you know, one thing might not be your taste. You might not be a flower girl, but those stripes or those metallics or, you know, so, I mean, just everything, basketballs, if you're a basketball mom. I mean, it was just, I was just, like, my lip was on the floor. I was like, dang. <laughs> and then when y'all yeah. retire stuff and you bring them back, I'm like, wow. <laughs> They keep you definitely hopping and popping. I'm glad you mentioned that because I still have to get my retired wraps tonight. I almost forgot. Um, but, yeah, they're, that's the one thing I love about Jamberry. There's such a great variety. Um, if you just want to be muted and subdued, you can be that. I mean, we've got some very solid wrap colors, you know, Glacier and Daydream, or if you want to be really shiny and popping. I have, uh, you know, one person that was just, you know, strong, Strong team member. Uh, I'm not sure if she's joining us on the call or not, Joyce, but she is always just blinging and, and her nails are always blinging. <laughs> um, and we also layer with our nail lacquer. So they're definitely made as compliments for each other where you could paint one or two accent nails and then layer a wrap on top. A lot of people love just to kind of come up with different mixes and combos. So all this you can do safely, toxin-free. Mm-hmm. Love it, love it, love it. Are there any other questions about the lacquer? Or the wraps? Well, I definitely hope um, the information I provided tonight was something new a new offering of alternative ways to the, um, dressing up your nails from being toxin-free. If you've never heard of Jamberry, again, please check out my website at stacyhenderson.jamberrynails.net. That's S-T-A-C-E-Y Henderson. And where else can they find you, Stacey? Are you, where you can, can you, you Yes, you definitely can find me on Facebook. Um, Nicole can add you. My group is actually secret, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> so um, they can actually be added to the group that was my group ended up being more than 250 people, which is not a problem, which is great. I didn't realize when I had switched it from closed to secret, you cannot revert back. Um, oh. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So that was inadvertently uh, done. It was not on purpose to make it secret, but um, more than happy to add anyone to the group. There's nothing mega secret going on, but mm-hmm. definitely um, invite you to the public website, uh, net. You can message me there, and I can add you to the group at any time as well. Is there an email that they can email you at if you if they have questions for you? Yes, Stacy S T A C E Y H E N at me dot com. Okay. Well, ladies, um, Stacy, can you um, give them a little bit of, of information about becoming uh, an independent? Uh, I can't even get it out. An independent consultant and yes. um, mm-hmm. the benefits of being a hostess for a Jamberry party, and they don't necessarily have to live in your area. If they're far away, they can do an online party. So if you could just give them some information about both of those opportunities, that would be great. Yeah, I would love, I would love to do that. Um, thank you. I wasn't planning to speak about that, but I'm always ready. <laughs> I, I, as I mentioned, <laughs> doing Jamberry last fall. I have have not been in the business yet a year. 
It will be one year next month, and it has been a great opportunity for me. I was a stay-at-home mom wanting to make some extra money at home, and I thought, well, why not? I'm going to do the nail stuff anyway. Why not see if I can make some money with it? When I found out I could get paid every Friday, in addition to once a month, I was like, sign me up, and it was automatic deposit. So um, it has been a blessing to my family. My Even when my husband was unemployed for three months, it definitely was a wonderful income, extra income generator. It was an affordable way to get into the business. You get everything you need. I mean, there's no hidden anything, no different packages that you may need. But all the products, all the catalogs, all the samples, everything you need, brochures, only for $99. Um, The support has been awesome. I have been in one other type of direct sales before in the past, and this direct sales is no pressure, literally. I've been very pleased with the encouragement and the support, and for it to be such a young company, it has been nothing but an excellent experience. Um, We are coming up on our national conference next weekend, which I'm really excited about. I will be attending, and it will definitely be a way to even grow bigger into the business. It's one of the trailblazer businesses out there, ground floor, and so that means the market is not saturated completely yet, so this is definitely an opportunity to to rise up and grow in this particular business. If that is not your thing but you're interested in the product, we love hosting parties. We love partying, (laughs) so it could be a mommy and me party. It could be a Facebook party. It could be an Instagram party. I've done email parties. Um, I love doing Facebook parties. Actually, that's 90% 90 of the way I really party is through Facebook. Um, And that has been an awesome opportunity where I can literally stay at home. My daughter is upstairs now in her crib while I could be partying on Facebook and having fun with others, getting to meet new people and interacting, and we have fun in the parties, play games and chat and show off our nails and do selfies. And it's just a fun way to, quote, unquote, get away, even online or in person. Home parties are definitely done if you're located in Charlotte. I do only two a month. You know, you determine how often you want to do them and when you want to do them and how you want to do them. And I am very selective. I just do two a month. And um, come to your home or to a restaurant, talk about Jamboree, share Jamboree with others, have you try on the nails. Um, if you're not in Charlotte, the way you can see or quote unquote try on the nails is I mail you samples. We have videos. Again, we chat, chat, chat. So it's all very interactive. Mm-hmm. And ladies, y'all know I'm big on entrepreneurship. Our jobs, our JLBs stand for just over broke. They give us enough every two weeks or every week, however often you get paid, to come back and do it again. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I always feel like in order to be really successful and do, you know, most of the stuff that you want to do in this lifetime, you do need more than one stream of income. I mean, that's just a no-brainer. Your job doesn't get it, especially if you have kids. Um, they're expensive. <laughs> um, so, you know, think about if that's something that you're interested if if that's something that you're into is nails, and this is just like your niche. Then I say go for it. Sounds like a ton of fun to me. Um, I just have way too much going on in my life to add another business, <laughs> another business in my life, but. I think it would be something that's great. When I when I was rocking my gel tips, I loved them. But when I found out, you know, all kinds of toxins, I'm like, ah. So I put them down, and I just I'm just there, Stacy. And uh, you probably be like, Girl, hide them nails, because you would you say all nails make a statement behind a bear? And then yes. I found they're bitten. <laughs> and so, life, life um, is just too short. Life is too short to have bare nails. <laughs> I guess I better go put my samples on. But, yes, um, <laughs> um, so, ladies, like Stacey said, I hope this call was helpful for you, informative. I hope you guys wrote some some of these things down so that you can, um, you know, take away and put into action right away. Um, after the call, I will send you out an email with um, some information on the five free toxins, which also includes um, Stacey's information. And there was another... Um, what else is in that email? Hold on one second. There were some jam facts in that email as well. So 
um, more information on Jamberry, Stacy's website, um, and all of her information. So I hope that you guys will take a look at that. Um, so Stacy's information will be in the email. If you guys want to be added to her Facebook group, let me know, and I will um, add you to the group. Um, for those of you on the call who are not familiar with Fresh, if you would like to go to my website, it is www.ilovebeingfresh.com, um, and you can also find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Fresh Ladies. That's ladies with an S on the end. I am also on Instagram at Fresh underscore Ladies. And if you would like to email me a private question that you might not want to email out to the group, um, I'm always available at whippedessentials at gmail.com, and that is W-H-I-P-P-E-D-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S at gmail.com. And as always, our takeaway message is take care of the womb of your mind the womb of your body, and the womb of your spirit so that it can take care of you. I'm going to open the call for Q&A, again, for some final questions and answers if there are any. And, Stacey, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I love that that Jamberry is a one-stop shop. I didn't know that about it. Um, it's so convenient, and who doesn't love convenience? Um, I like that you guys like to party and you have – hostess benefits, and, you know, you you offer opportunities for people to come into the business for such a low fee of $99. Ladies, that is a wonderful investment. I mean, because there's a lot of direct sales companies out here that is like, I won't even talk about how much money I've spent in the past. I've spent, <laughs> let's see, $500 to join one business one time. And, I mean, yeah. it was a wonderful business, but I didn't see the benefits that I wanted to see on the, you know, the paying in because, for me, it was like, you know, having to beg people to come in. And, you know, this is a business that sells itself. Ladies love you know, being pretty. Ladies love their nails. So I can see how this would be an easy way for you to make money. And I, I love when Stacy goes to lunch and she uses her Jamberry card and she covers up her numbers and she's like, Jamberry, pay for this lunch. <laughs> so, I mean, yes. you know, she's, just, she's just not talking it. She's making money. Um, She's bringing yes. people in. And, and you can see that stuff in the group. So, of course, I love it because it's all natural products. It's toxin-free. You know, I'm a lover of all things natural. And um, so, ladies, I just hope you join the group. Um, ask any questions that you may have when I open the line. And, again, thank you for joining us. So let me unmute you all. Thank you so much for having me, Nicole. It was a pleasure and an honor oh. to be here. Again, so thank you for doing that. You are very, very welcome. So, ladies, we are all going to ask our questions or say goodnight, or I'm unmuting you guys. Hi, so Stacey. It's... Can you hear me? Yes. What's your name? Hi, Stacey. This is Angie. I'm calling from South Carolina. I have a question. I have a daughter getting ready to go to college, and yes. she loves to get her nails done. But after listening to this call, I think she would prefer – Jamberry, would you recommend her to be a consultant at, at her age? Absolutely. Some of the most successful consultants, I went to our regionals last fall, and a college student got up and said this is the best part-time job she has while in school. She doesn't have to burn gas to go to her job. <laughs> she is right there on campus. She goes to different dorm rooms and, quote, unquote, parties with the nail wrap. Again, it is a very, as Nicole mentioned, fast way, which is why I joined. One of the reasons why I joined was a pro to make money. Um, as soon as you hit join uh, and fill out all your information on the website, your website is active and live. You don't have to try to figure out how to – a full-service um, website is active and live, and someone can order within that moment on your website. You will be paid the following week on your pro pay card – it's a pre-paid um, debit card, and Nicole mentioned that. I'm flashing it from time to time. It's a purple Jamberry card, and every Friday, as long as you're working your business, um, then you will have money in your card. That's the key is working, you know, the business, and that means having people buy wraps from you and having people, you know, get some lacquers or some nail products. 
um, having parties. And if she continues, she has to talk about it on campus, then, yes, this is a perfect opportunity for her. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Because she would need a – she's going to need a part-time job. <laughs> <laughs> if she likes nails and she's already going to do it anyway, then this is definitely something to look at. Okay, I would love great. To, Thank you. Yeah, I would love to follow up with you later and definitely join my group, and I will private message you. Okay, that, that's great. Nicole, make sure that you add me to her group. Sure. I'll make sure you guys get connected. Thank you. Anybody else got any questions for Stacy before we all say goodnight? All right, ladies. Well, we won't keep you. Um, thanks for joining the call. Take care of your body so that it can take care of you, ladies. And anybody interested in joining the group, um, just let me know. You can inbox me or however you want to contact me. It's fine. And uh, don't forget to join us next Monday. Anissa and I will be talking about sugar and aspartame and how it affects your body. So we look forward to you joining us on next Monday's Thank call. You. you all have a wonderful night. I give thanks for you being here. Yeah.